So in nomad sculpt, there are primitive forms like the sphere, box, cylinder, etc. And we can create lots of things with these. But there is another powerful and interesting tool called the lathe tool. So to find the lathe tool, go to the top right corner and find the range icon. Click on it and here it is. When you select it, on the left you will see a couple of options. Curve and Path. You can select either one of those depending on what you want to create. I will select the path for now. Make sure you are in the front orthographic view and the grid is turned on. Because we can use these grids as guidelines to draw. Now draw the side view of the form you want to create like this. It creates a curved line, but I want a sharp corner here. So I will click on this white dot once and see how it turns black and converts the curve into a corner. Keep drawing. And now we have the side view of the form. Click on this tiny green circle and voila. We have our object. But right now it has too many polygons which will make my scene heavy when I subdivide it. So let's decrease the poly count. Unlock this and decrease the Y division as well. And validate. Now if I subdivide it the form doesn't look the way I want it to. That's because the sharp corner right now do not have any supporting edge loops. Let's undo and add some edge loops. So if I simply click on the line, a black dot appears and adds an edge loop. We'll keep doing this to add the rest of the supporting edge loops, like so. And now, if I subdivide it, it looks the way I want it to. Oh, look, it looks like a bulb holder, doesn't it? So why not create the bulb too? Let's use the carve option this time to draw the side view of the bulb like this. Now we have a bulb. You see how powerful the lathe tool is? Thanks for watching and let me know in the comment section if you found it useful. In future I will upload more videos like this so consider subscribing.